Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia. We're here in the Tower of Araman, which is exactly the opposite of where we wanted to go since we were heading to the Tower of Armaz. This is Araman's Tower. Araman's Tower? Why would you build a tower to Araman? Araman and Ormaz weren't always at war. The tower was built more than a thousand years ago when they were brothers, each balancing the other, until Araman decided to take it all. I know the tower was built before Ormaz and Araman split. But why keep it? It's a reminder. It's like going home with a girl and finding keepsakes of her ex-boyfriend everywhere. <laughs> Creepy. Well, maybe the girl wants to remember what had been good before things went wrong. Maybe her interfering mother couldn't forget it. I don't think they're talking about the same thing. Do you think Armin will be happy to find his tower's been demolished? Armin doesn't care about this city. This place is starting to get me down. Let's move on. We can't do any good here. She raises a good point. We don't have the power we need to activate, uh... The fertile ground here. Let's head off to his brother's tower instead. Reminds me. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Hit her, hit her, her. her lift let's do that Uh, explain to me in the comments that those aren't magical kill combos. That happened because I rung him out. Oh, hey, maybe I can practice on the warrior. I know he can take it. Whoa! That was a bad time for the frame rate to do that. Sounds like the big guy knows we're here. Thanks. Yep, in there, all right. Oh, geez. This is the Tower of Ormaz. The fertile ground is at the top. If Ormaz is a god, why isn't he saving his city? Can't move. Ormaz doesn't care about stone and wood. He doesn't seem to care about his people either. Seeing the predicament. That's fine. Keep saying things like that, and then you can make enemies of two gods. I'm assuming that was supposed to trigger a conversation bit with a zoom in, but, uh, it couldn't work because she was dangling from a cliff. We had to get here 200 years after civilization left. Should we find some more of those light things? What the hell? I didn't turn the camera that way. Oh, I see. I never covered corners at the uh, tutorial. I don't think this tower is too stable. I 
didn't know we could do that. You want to give him a back rub? Just do it. This is a poor plan. I think I'm gonna need a bigger sword. Push him into the pillar. Yeah, you just mentioned that already. Hey, over here. Push him back. You sold your soul to look like that. Ow! My arms! No. That was the wrong button. That's okay, he's invincible anyway. Do you and Armin want to go somewhere private for this conversation? Oh dear. Ha ha, that didn't do shit. Oh, balls. This is a lot trickier than I thought it would be. Right, yeah. I don't see him lifting that guy. Hey, maybe you can make with a magic punch the next time I get knocked on my ass. Just a thought. Sorry about that. I don't think he liked that. Yeah, I gotta admit, if I had to place money on whether uh, something that looked like that or something that looked like the hunter would be able to talk, I think I would have lost that bet. Ow. I was really worried the crappy frame right there would be affecting the input. Why, wait, why is that doing damage? Yeah, so let's push him right into the wall, this makes sense. Why are we doing this? I thought we had to make him wreck all the pillars and then uh, the ceiling would fall in him or something. That one I understand. That was his idea. What? Oh, I see the ring there. It's just has to be the pillar we uh, get on when we escape. 
Yeah, I thought we were just trying to dump the ceiling on him. Why is pushing him through wooden things uh, hurting him? So drunk. If I die, I don't want to get squished under rocks. People like me this shape. Girls like me this shape. How many gods have you made angry? Let's just get out of here. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Up there. We can get out of that balcony. We should get to somewhere safer before we continue this conversation. I can't see a way down. We have to go up to the fertile ground. You're kidding, right? Unless you hadn't noticed, this place is collapsing. So we must reach the fertile ground. If the tower were to bury it... I'm worried about it burying us. I hope your Ormaz does a good line in afterlives. Oh yes, all the best wine, women, carpets. He might even throw in a donkey. You're not going to let that go, are you? If you get your people back, you're going to have some rebuilding to do. Well, I'm out of ideas. Why are we climbing up a tower that's going to fall down? Dead end. Where now? Round the tower. We have to reach that ring. But there's nowhere to go. That might have worked, but uh... Well, what the hell? That's funny. None of the other uh, wall running se sequences had him last that long. Not a great time for inconsistent frame rate.
I didn't see any lava. Well, maybe I did. I might have been some underground, I don't remember. How much do you want to bet that getting the fertile ground is going to solve the structural stability problems here? I don't think he likes us. Here we go again. Good thing there's not corruption right here. Sick. Okay. What? Mars, can you hear us? What was I supposed to have done there? Should we find some more of those light things? Maybe we should not die first. Yeah, there's some lava over there. And little craters. Probably actually enormous and just far away. I'm just not focusing over there right now. Not a big fan of the way the camera is not turning as we do this. I'm never one for sequences where they take camera control out of your hands. And she's not one, apparently, for responding to the Y button when you need it the most. Damn it. We'll give this another try on the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.